Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome to a, a new playthrough here in Total War Three Kingdoms, where we are going to, well, we're obviously starting a new playthrough, we're going to start as the House of Han, but we are, I'm not going to play the Emperor at the moment, because, let's be honest, everybody's going to be playing the Emperor, I am going to play his brother, Liu Chong. Always ready for the fight. Prince Liu Chong is a warrior whose dedication to his people is matched only by his formidable skill in battle. Now, he is obviously meant to be an easier starting position, uh, which after my uh, Liu Bei start, I'm, I'm quite happy to deal with. You start with a reasonable amount of territory, and obviously we are part of the Empire, we are, are leading, our playstyle focus is majesty, um, and uh, we have a trophy cabinet, so we acquire trophies from achievements, and we can, uh, of a re re reward an aggressive approach to this faction, and they can be displayed in a trophy cabinet, each providing a bonus whilst it's on display, so we can tweak things to get us things. Um, uh, we have a champion who is the guardian of the people, and we um, yeah, excel at troops, and we've got crossbow buffs, so that's quite cool. And our special units, we get a uh, Chen Royal Guard and Chen Peacekeepers, which look awesome, let's be honest. So, yeah, and um, obviously we are a commander. Anyway, let's jump in here. Dark rumours are spoken in every corner of the land, whispering of the end of the hunt. <laughs> the Dang brothers, plotting from their home commandery, seek to tear down what they see as a corrupt dynasty. Ambition flowers like a weed, all-consuming and suffocating. None are immune to its sickly sweet allure. As the Han weaken, the eunuch advisors claw more power to themselves. Once loyal warlords sense opportunity, lines are drawn as all move to consolidate their own power, whilst Zhang Jue conspires to take the throne itself. acts to secure his rule, with the Empress and the eunuchs battling for control of his court. Peace hangs by a thread. A torrent of blood will surely be spilled before the dynasty's fate is determined. The Hun have claimed their rightful place with steel and blood and have stood for centuries as the ruling dynasty of China, inheritors of the Qin's right to rule. In the many years since their ascendancy, myriad Hun emperors have ruled the land, and each has maintained the dynasty in their own way. The current emperor's rule, however, is beset by turmoil. His corrupt eunuch attendants wield power selfishly, whilst... You are a sentinel to the Hun, Liu Chong, loyal and resolute. But the land and the dynasty are slipping into chaos. A shadow looms over the capital and my kin. Northern rebellions rise from perceived corruption. We will endure, but I must look to my own people now. I must fix what is broken. I must defeat the dynasty's enemies. I must create a realm of peace and acceptance. A noble ideal, but there is much and more standing between you and your goal. I will defeat the Yellow Turbans, alone if I must. Their broken bodies will be my trophies, cornerstones of our new world here at home. Then let your legend be written in the blood of your enemies, Liu Chong. And may you build a better world in the wake of the old. 
Okay, so obviously we're a Prince of Chen um, here. So build a land of prosperity. Be wary of you and shoot to the south. I wonder why. And Liu Jun will be your guide. There we go. So we're not in a bad position. As I said, we start with quite a nice amount of territory actually here. Well, Chen and a small city. Oh yeah. So a couple of uh, command commanderies there. Or counties, I don't know if they're individual ones, commanderies, but yeah, so we're doing quite well. A mission issue, engage the bandits. Um, so, uh, you finally come to the bandits who attack the local magistrate. You see the rabble of poorly armed troops. You side yourself, perhaps you should have left this to your subordinates, but no. You are of the imperial family, and no task is beneath you. You gather your troops and trusted men to face the bandits. Nice. Now, before I do anything... Um, I've had a horrible cough, cold the last few weeks, so I, I'm still recovering from it. I'm better, but I've still got it, so if I mute myself or I cough, I do apologise. I will try and mute myself so I don't cough at you too much. Um, we're going to try and stay loyal to the Empire, for, for to my brother, for as long as possible, obviously, because he is my uh, brother, and I want to stay friendly with him. Anyway, let us... Let's do this. My legacy will be one of uncountable glories. Always fight the first battle. We've got my shiny special units here as well. So the heavy cavalry. If a nation lives and dies on the strength of its heroes, then I could surely and forge a nation to endure forever. I am loyal, have been loyal. Yet as the rot creeps among my kin, I know I must act as sword and shield both. Defending my kin whilst fighting for my own people. If I am to have a legacy. Stand ready. Prepare. Make ready. So that's my special crossbows who look really cool. Yeah. They don't look anywhere near as cool as their um Attend! Toughness, they are tough, though. To attention! Hurry! With speed! Faster! Uh, nobody wants to duel. We are playing um, on hard, hard, and obviously romance mode. I just enjoy romance mode more. I do like both versions, but uh, negligible, so we should easily win this. That's sad, he is a champion. It's saying negligible. I will try to believe what it's telling me. probably want to do is try and just, just lead these guys in a bit of a merry chase if I can. While well, this duel is going on here. Liu Chong does look cool. Oh wow! You know, those archers are fairly decent. You fight well! So it spreads so if they do come at one of us, your we can keep shooting. Your skill. Um, as soon as they break, I'm going to slam into them. Because now they're running, they're not a threat, and I can do lots of damage to them. You two can swap to them. They're doing nicely there. I want to be a bit careful getting caught, but this is good. We are shredding them now by charging through them. They're about to break anyway. Oh, straight back onto them, and now they're broken. I was a little worried we were going to get caught there, and it would potentially stop my archer shooting, but that's all sorted now. Our victory grows ever you guys closer. can shoot them. Oh, and we are battering that champion. This is over. Let's double time. The enemy general is fallen. At them! The battle! Kill everybody! 
Even those last two guys being chased down here. I feel sorry for them. Kinda. So yeah, that, that worked nicely. My archers did well. My cav got lots of kills, but they were, to be fair, from things running. My low-level archers got more kills than my high-level archers. That seems odd, but... Big thing guys, we are in an early access build so things may not work quite as they will when the final build comes out. And of course, a big, big thank you to CA Creative Assembly for the access to this, which I should have said all right at the start. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Okay. Don't really need the income. I don't really need the replenishment here. I don't really need any of that, so we'll take the replenishment. Character. There we go, making my people happier. And rec cheaper recruitment, which is quite nice. A mission issued. Um, from your enemy general body, you gather the Imperial Banner, one which had been taken from the, in, the pre um, in the previous attack. This was a gift from the Emperor, not theirs to take. Secure the banner on display for all to see. So we can. Dis so they wanted to display this in my trophy cabinet. There we go. Oh, nice. So buffing up my melee. I'm giving me a thousand gold and. Not bad. Reducing the mustering term, which is the time it takes units to fully recruit, I think. Mission issue. Liu Chong, Liu Chong prepares the war. To equip an army for war, you must first uh, uh, first develop an industry for creation of arms and armor. Constructing workshops will help in this. So construct or upgrade a building. For my legacy. Outwards and on. Okay. Always ready for the fight. First thing, let's get him recruited as well. Not as impressive. Some nice, decent spears. Uh, a couple of cav. Oh, no, I don't want to be spending too much money there, so... I mean, I do need to upgrade a building. It's where am I going to build my military buildings? We're a very farmland heavy place, which is both good and bad. Interestingly, it's mostly not these things which, un it's not buildings which unlock things, um, it's leveling up, which is always an interesting way. Um, so as I level up and through the tech tree and things, we get access My to more. Legacy will be one of uncountable glories. You can get the other one, because this is going to be a very food production heavy place. Okay. Doing a bit of recruitment. Maybe I should have left that a bit, but we're in a good position here. I want to be ready for when other things do happen. Um, I obviously want to expand when we get the opportunities, but we are friends with everybody around us now. For now, anyway. The new Hong depends on what on Zhang Yu. Oh, so there we go. We're getting some of the wars starting. Minor success. Extra prestige, which is good because prestige obviously levels up my uh, uh, where is it? Ah, this one. Oh, we already start quite high up, which is quite nice. Um, unlike my Leo Bay playthrough where I'm really little. So we've already reached the rank of second Marco Marky. And we're rewarded for my loyalty. Oh yeah, somebody has been reloaded, so. Assign the following, so, uh, ah yeah. So they wanted to reward him, so I need to assign somebody to Chancellor. Okay. And basically they want us to get to the next rank. And for that, yeah, well, we're gonna just straight up do that. Obviously he gets various buffs by being there, but he can trigger a civil war. If he were to want to. The finest crossbow. Ooh. No. 
Nice. So extra cutting, extra ammunition, and basically makes him a ranged character as well. Glory Let us waiting. instantly equip his crossbow. That's nice. That makes him a very different style of character. Which I've not used too much before, to be fair. Hmm... So it decays. The fortitude is our other thing. Uh, measure of my military prowess, but it decay the, the higher it is, the faster it decays. Insurmountable problems fade before Aww. whispered truths. Let us approach our problems calmly. Declare feud. So obviously got Yuan Shu down here, who it has told me to. Be wary of. Um, got an iron mine and more farmland. More. We are kind of in the farming centre here. I'm not sure that's really the best building, but. can do. Yes. So it is agreed. So a couple agreed. of trade deals going. As they fight side by side, your general's bonds will deepen as friends or rivals, affecting their satisfaction in your service. Be watchful of their relationships and their characteristics as they develop. We'll leave that for now. Hmm. Uh, extra trade agreement, actually, I would quite like that. Trade influence. Ooh, we also want those crossbows, don't we? We get buffs to crossbows. I think the extra trade route will be good at the moment because we saw how much they were. If we can get that other one off. What do you want? And yeah, we'll get that back pretty much instantly. So very two turns. Well. So that's very worth doing. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have any need to put into that position. It's kind of an odd situation to be here, because I'm kind of sitting here, stuck, without much to do, um, at this point. Ooh, various wars of the Zhang brothers. The Zhang brothers. Uh, you hear rumours of three brothers of the Zhang family from Zulu County who have been gathering many followers at their side. I've gone through this in my other playthrough, guys, so I'm not going to go through it again. Basically, it's, it's, it's the follow the story. This is the uh, brothers setting up, and this is obviously my storyline, and they are all up here. And we are going to have to deal with them sometime soon. Ah, spending too much. I do want some cat, some better cav. Um, ah, they're relatively good in melee. They've got better range toughness. I'm a bit confused. Why the other ones did better? Never mind. We shall see. Ember is quite powerful over there, but he does have a lot of income from a lot of places, I guess.
On the march. Uh, yeah. By my strength. Oh, we're getting there. What oh, does you see? I want him. Another ranged character, admittedly, but Tashi C is a really solid character, so getting him into my uh, into my court would be very good. Well worth spending a bit of money on. Ooh, mission issued. Uh, have five units of missile infantry in your character's army, so despite many months of peace, frequent bandit attacks. And it will give us just your legend spreads. And we're seeing some graffiti about the yellow turbans. My legacy will be one of un I return. How fair the people. He is seriously expensive. So I'll get two of those guys to go on the edges and the others in there, and that'll get me up to five. Give me a mission. Uh, and we've completed that other mission. There we go. Overpopulation. Construct a building from follow chain. Settlement administration. Uh, Liu Chong offers. Uh, defeat three armies of garrison from follow things. Faction. Looters. Oh, I didn't even realize we'd been getting them appearing in my territory. Oh, uh, bugger. Let's we'll start chasing them down. This is obviously a story mission, so they've just appeared. It seems your advisor's words were of great merit. Yeah, so we've got these and we get a call to arms if we win it, which is nice again. Got a fairly standard arm here. I should be able to batter them easily. Oh god. Oh god. It does say a close defeat. I'm not quite sure why, because they are much more powerful than me, but well, we'll damage them at least. <laughs> I don't have any defense. Farmland, the problem with farmland is you don't actually have some types of settlement, you get stuff to defend. Uh, but farmland is, well, you can see. Look out! Enemy reinforcements are here! Forward! With speed! Make haste! Basically, the faster I can engage here, potentially they the better. They are overwhelming us! Watch out! The enemy lies in wait for us. That is actually go, go. a lot of cav. Uh, I mean, we're, we're generally good against mounted, but they have a lot of mounted. Hidden units, an ambush. I think I'd have probably potentially done better. Yeah. I'd have probably done much better by actually autoing this. Because they are going to shred me. He said we're not doing badly. Them. Ooh, pull back a bit. You guys can pull up there. Oh, there's slow time. You're going to try and pull around and flank a bit. Slam into the flank of that axe band. Uh. 
we are struggling here. I should have softened up the axe bands rather than the cavalry because we can deal with the cavalry better. Oh god! Yeah, I think we're stuffed. Our warriors run, craven dogs. This is over. There's no point in doing anything but autoing. But speed to going at max speed. I got devastated. God, damn, bandits. But we are going to turn around and charge them, chase them down, and batter them. So. We've got a much bigger army to come and hit them with, so I'm just worried they're going to... I don't think they can take the settlement. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. If they take the settlement, I'll be worried somebody else will come along and take it. But they are like a rebel faction. Uh, yeah, they've taken it, and they're all going to consolidate there. God damn you. Why did I move to the top of my territory? Ooh, sorry. So, uh, Tang Xiao defects, so Yellow Turban has defected, so we're following the story. What else happened? Uh, we lost the settlement. And the commandery of Chen is no longer completely ours. Right, I do need somebody else. He's good. And he likes everybody. We kind of have far too many ranged here now, but he's somebody else in for the now. By my strength. On the march. I need somebody available to assign, to give an assignment. It's fine. That's good. Nobody believes in the yellow turban's cause. I want to keep it that way. Oh, are they? Are they looking at me? I believe they are. Living in harmony, people are becoming more friends with each other. Only my victories will secure our future. I'm just going to delegate that one because I hate fighting large cavalry forces, and it was a, a decisive victory our anyway. Victory is proof of heaven's approval. Take a bit of replenishment. Royal bolsters character. Embarking! Hmm. Again, most of my income is coming from trade. But I would also like to start. I'm going to start down the military tree because I do want to unlock some of the military things. It's working out what I want to unlock first, to be fair. Because they are awesome. Pearl dragons are awesome. Sprouts, As are these. To be fair, all of the end units colors. are awesome. But pearl dragons, I think, are one of the better ones. Please tell me where you think I should go. In the comments, the description, obviously. Well, the comments, you can't tell me in the description. I'm gonna go batter these bandits next turn. For my legacy. Various wars going on. Uh, we succeeded in the overpopulation mission. And the mandate war has become, so the war with the yellow turbans has started. Um, and we now have what is called the Mandate War, where basically we have to go and batter them. We've got to kill all three of them, and we have to uh, destroy them. And everybody is now at war with them, basically. And they don't start with too much territory. They will grow quite quickly, and annoyingly, I am here. Oh, God. No. 
Right, I need to finish this. Oh, uh. Of course, no one's available. God damn. I cannot. A waste of time. Well, that caught me quite unaware. Basically, I've been mispositioned, both badly positioned both times. I could start again, but that would be really cheesy, so I'm not going to do that. Um, it is, however, annoying. Oh, God, and we've got yellow turbans there, too. Uh, God damn yellow turbans they are going to take there. Um, once we've dealt with here, we will have to head back up there. That shredded my income. Uh, oh, we gained a jade burr. Oh, we just gained some experience. There we go. By my strength. Shut fury! It's an easy, decisive victory again, so. Kinda did this twice, our so we get our two battles. Rewarded. Our three battles. To work! Strike true! Ah! For my legacy. There we go. Call to arms. That's quite nice. Welcome, and, my lord. Uh, Yojin has leveled up. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Resolve. We'll go down this route. We've got to do that. Um... See, I like getting to them, but... No, I like that one because it buffs me up a bit more. I'm going to give us one of these followers. That one. Because authority is really something for the actual overall lord. My legacy will be one of uncountable glory. You can get him for the instinct and the authority and the fatigue resistance. Right, he's gonna get dealt with. Let's make sure he has an a welcome sight. Really? I will give him access to come in and in kill them. Then we are going to have to charge back up here. And then we've got here to take nicely soon, if we can. Um, there's territory down and around here as well, which has fallen. I want to recapture my territory first. I would like to try and take ha Huang Shao's territory there. That's Dong. It's a nice city. Um, And then we can potentially push across the river into the yellow, into the yellow, other yellow turban territory. Oh god damn it! Though I may have to chase him down, assuming he's not dealt with there. Wow! The Liang Rebellion, so a rebellion in the Western Territories. Right, let's go deal with that. Should you decide to fight? I think I got him, guys. Justice cannot be denied. He does survive, of course, because he is a faction leader. He. Toil bolsters character. Outwards and on. Glory is waiting. Oh, he's gone. Let's swap him Poised out. So I can send somebody on assignments next turn. No. Oh, I thought it was looking at me then. By I like having strength. a sentinel because they are very tough, obviously. Can you get these guys? For my legacy. Ready yourselves! 
Advancing. Start advancing fast. I want to get back up. I want to try and recap that farmland and then push over there. Um, try and get myself another city. Um, that is a very nice... Dong is one of the best territories in the game if you level it up properly. Um, I'm going to say I suspect that it's going to fall. Obviously, you want to get the rest of the territory for it, but if you can, this place can make a fortune. Oh, yeah, I guess there's other places. I'm sure I remember other things being there, being bigger, but it's not that big. Um, that's good. I yeah, could go there. We'll work it out. To start with, I want to recapture that farmland, so... Get rid of that fervor which is building up there. We're getting fervor building up everywhere, to be fair, so I probably want to do some things to try and bring that down. Um, so we're going to want to look at building something in Chen, because that is obviously going to be problematic, and potentially, I don't know if it gets to 100 if it forces a rebellion. Oh, god damn! Oh, do we have special buildings here? We can demolish that to get a military building. Ooh, a land of peace. It is late. You sit down, basically. It is late and you sit down with your visor, Liu Jun. The wise lord chooses the right path when presented with a fork. So we can be a force of arms. You will fight battles. You will become loved. While war will always come, it's better to be known he who creates than to destroys. You will help. Uh, you will help the people to become loved. There we go. Uh, upgrade Chen. They want us to upgrade this to a small city. Always ready. For uh. Don't want to lose there. I am in a really annoying position. To enlightenment. When drawing a bow, hold the breath. All things in time. We might be able to push through and take there. This is tricky. There are lots of awesome units, to be fair, like them. And them. Uh, at this point, however... Income from peasantry, because actually, most of my income, I suspect, is peasantry. Yeah. So we're farming settlements. We're in this bit of China. I do love it. Uh, one of the best things to do is definitely to just get out of this bit of China as early as you can in the game. Because this bit of China in every game just goes nuts. He skipped it? Interesting. Brothers in arms, my people are becoming friendlier with each other. My legacy will be one of uncountable glories. I guess we're fighting this one. I'm a bit surprised they skipped my settlement. Um, lots of basic sword infantry there, to be fair. I, I'm a very anti-cav setup here. My melee guys are with my sentinel and they're not really set up. This is, to be fair, the thing which is going to fight this battle for me is my archers. Oh, beauty of a hill. Ready. Stand ready. Ah, 
So they have to come to me. I doubt they'll duel with me, but we'll see. That is nice, because it uh, gives us a charge, reduces charge versus mounted. And your rear ranks can keep shooting. Um, obviously we don't necessarily need to do it now, but... I just realised I attack them and they are charging me. Let's not complain too much. Oh, on his horse. He is so gonna die. He is. His armor is really cool. My guy's there. The time has come. Oh, we can shield wall. Spears ready to attention. Take your positions! The time has come! Steal yourselves! To attention! The time has come! Grouping up! Give no ground! There's no point in moving. Uh, this does open the line up a little bit, but I can cope with that. Move my archers back a little bit. Tiny units, they can actually be merged into one effectively. You must defeat them. I mean, there's no real worry about defeating them, let's be honest. Let's hit that unit. They are the most dangerous unit they've got, which is the captain. All of these guys focus on one, that is far better. You will regret ever facing me! I will crush you for this insult! Nothing can harm me! Run, run! Our comrade is under attack! Oh, that is going nicely. Swap target. As mentioned, my archers are going to be what wins us this, if anything does. Stand ready! March of the devil! Prepare! And the ready! Go, go, go! Double time! Take heed, warriors! Ready to fight! Wow! Where did they come from? Oh, they turned back. Do our 10k splash damage in there. That should help. If you need to rest, I do understand. Do try and remember who your enemy is. Right, my cav can pull out now. Our victory grows ever closer. You guys can pull around the back there. You are going to come around and slam into the rear there. Start taking out their ranged. They're all beginning to break. You can slam into that flank. In fact, no, you can charge up here against their ranged as well. Look at the enemy. Break formations and chase. Over. 
that was never going to be a difficult battle, to be fair. I thought it was going to go better than they suggested. My ranged shredded them. Again, my buffed archers, which technically have better stats, didn't do as well. Odd. So loads of things can impact that, so... Our faith oh, I didn't use my rewarded. lord to shoot at all, and he can. Nice, lots of fortitude. Let's take the replenishment. For China. For my legacy. Ah, so that's pushing us up nicely. I love the negatives to everybody else. Um, the replenishment bonus is really quite powerful. Top level, that is very powerful, actually. Unsurprisingly. Moving out. Nurture wisdom. Secure the camp. As long as I can get up there before it's taken by somebody else, we're good. Because behind me has been secured. However, if I can secure there. No, I want to go to that sit. I want to take Dong because that is a very good city. And then we'll move over to the other side if that's still not dealt with. Let's see where this goes. Ah. Oh, they've, they've gone into ambush stance. Faction Han Fu has been destroyed. It's hardly surprising. He starts right in the middle of there. The hero's aid. Oh, we gain a chance to gain. Advancing outwards and on. Okay, let's start double timing back up here. Reserve action. Avoid diversions. To action. No. Nope. We must replenish our reserves. Always he may forwards. be dead. If he is, he is. It's not the end of the world. It saves me some money. <laughs> is that sort of a way to think about it? But um, not that fuss. We are coming back up to there from the other direction, and then we will move on to Dong against Han Shao. Get hold of Dong. See, I'm worried about him doing the same or trying to capture my territory. God damn. I'm not even going to bother. It saves me some money, to be fair. It's not necessarily the right way to think about it, but... No, he didn't actually die. I hate this guy charging up. Huan Shao is going to have to be taken at some point. Glory is waiting. Marching! No, a welcome sight. Ooh. Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm ooing and ahhing. I'm trying to work out if there's something Cannot worth marrying welcome, about son. the place. Should marry somebody, to be fair, but I'm in no rush. Because obviously marrying people gives you a family, which gives you more people. I should have recruited some more units. Too late to worry about it now. We'll do it next turn as we push up on here. See, he's trying to get past me to do the same, to take my territory. Like the traitor he is. By my strength.
And if I get here first, he'll probably move on Dong before me, annoyingly. But I can always not help him in a battle. Or just, you know, let him get crushed. Hope he gets crushed. Ah, hardly surprising. But that makes the farmland easier to take. Impossible to achieve. This power will serve the people. For the people! From the roots to heaven. Nice. Extra fortitude. Straight up occupied. We will bring righteousness thing. to this settlement. Ooh, forced migration. Uh, general reports swift colonization of the recently annexed territory. Uh, migrate with convoys. Extra population if we get decreased recruitment. That's fine. Madness. My legacy will be one of uncountable glories. That is nice. The replenishment is good. That's good. Missile attack. Let's grab that as we are a missile guy. My lord, how can I serve? Eva will give you cunning. Then it's resolve. Each tree is the set. You know something different. I kind of prefer that one. Um, I can actually start buffing my farms a little. Because we are definitely farming settlements at the moment. No, I want to build that, but I need to save a bit. Of oh. Let's save some money to upgrade. We are also having public order issues. Yay! Nice. He's not necessarily helping me, but he's not necessarily being bad. Annoyingly, I'm going to smash this, and I suspect he'll go that way. Friends stick together. My people are becoming more friendly. Strike true. Yeah, he was in the sea. I was like, oops. I should have left him in the river. I didn't realise he was. I thought he was still on the land. So he couldn't have hit me anywhere anyway. He's somewhat annoying. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Lots of extra fortitude. This is where being aggressive is very good for us. Recruit, please. Toil bolsters character. Cast anchor for China. I cannot prepare for sales. If he goes that way, I will turn around and go for the other place if it's still taken, uh, still free, because he may lose over there. There is a lot going on over there, though I suspect ending this Mandate War fast is probably going to be a very beneficial thing for us. Um. Oh, it's, it's already been taken back oh, by him. Not by him, by someone else, but still. Return to standard position. Forward. Ooh, one of us is wounded. Glory is waiting. Nope, saving money. I'm trying to. Anyway, guys, we have been at this for an hour, so we are going to leave this one here. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games, so please check them out. As always, thank you very much for watching.